Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create mockups using AI. So first of all, open an image generator of your choice and create the image you want. Well, I will be using the Bing AI image generator. Bing.com slash create. Now once we're here, we're going to create an image of a lotion bottle for creating a mockup. Let me just put in the prompt. Product photo. So here, as you can see, it has provided only four pictures according to my prompt. Well, I quite like this one. I'm just going to click on this picture and download it from here. Now, after your image has been installed, open up Photoshop and move your image there. So here, I have moved both the generated image and the logo I will be using on the bottle to Photoshop. Now, the next step is to just simply use the quick selection tool and select that area that you want to paste your logo slash design on the bottom. Like I'm just gonna, yes, this is perfect. Now, after the area has been selected, make a new layer and also create a new group by just simply clicking on Control plus G. Now, after you have made the group, click on this button right here and it will create a layer mask. Now, after that, select the layer that you just made and click on this button right here and click on solid color. Now move it to the side and now select a color that matches your design or is in contrast with the logo that you will be putting on the bottom. So I will be using this color as it is a contrast of the color of the logo I will be using on the bottom. Hit OK. Now after you've chosen your color, click on this blending mode option and select an option that perfectly blends the bottle with the color that we just made. Like for example, for me, this color option makes the color that I chose perfectly blend with the bottle. So I'm just going to choose color. You can choose any one of these depending on what makes the picture perfect for you. Now, after you're done with the color filling part, select the background layer once again. Now we're going to darken the sides of the bottle so that it looks more realistic and that it looks like the light is coming from the center rather than from the sides. So for that purpose, use this tool called the burn tool. Select that tool, change the range to highlights. After that, zoom in a bit and just darken the sides of the bottom. I'm going to darken a bit of the bottom as well. Okay. As well on this side here. So now after we have used the darken tool, middle part of the bottle is illuminating rather than the sides of the bottle. Now after all these touches are done, move your logo to the bottle. I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it on the bottle. Click on Ctrl plus T to resize it and paste it on the bottle perfectly. I'm just going to move it a bit here so that it fits the bottle perfectly. Perfect. Just click on that button and now your logo has been pasted on the bottle. Now after the logo has been placed, double click on the layer and these layer style menu will open. Now from this window, you can change the blend mode of the logo that you just pasted according to your needs and desires. For example, linear burn makes it more prominent. For example, the darker color looks good, so I'm just going to choose this one. Hit OK. Now, after this part is also done, create a new layer. 
by clicking on this button here. Now after that new layer has been created, click on this button down here and this time click on gradients. Now in this window, change the style from linear to radial. Now after that, change the gradients presets to black and white from the basics folder. This one here. Now after that, tick this reverse box. Click on OK. Now after done with this part, click on this button besides the fill percentage bar and reduce it so that your picture becomes somewhat visible. Now after you're done with that, go back to the blending option menu and select an option that perfectly blends with the photo and illuminates the bottle from the middle. For example, the screen one perfectly matches my photo. I'm just going to decrease the fill a little bit more. So this looks good. So as you can see, my bottle is illuminating from the middle and it catches the eye of the person watching. So that's pretty much it. And that's how you can use AI to create a mock-up. Try to use some different settings and move it a bit here and there so that you get your desired results. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.